Welcome back guys. So glad you're here. We are super excited. 2021 is going to be a huge year for us. We've got so much going on. We have a garage about to go up. We've got a flower cutting garden being planned and going to be planted and tended to, which is a huge dream of mine. Um, we've got just all the other projects planning out the garden, the vegetable garden as well. Um, and a host of other projects in the works. But today, guess what? We have another litter of puppies and another one about to happen. So both Bella and Daisy got pregnant. And today we're going to talk about Bella's litter that she just had yesterday. We're so excited and they're so cute. You've got to see these little puppies. Super, super excited. So we're going to talk about that today. So stay tuned. a litter of puppies. Bella had her litter yesterday and then through the night. Um, yes, very exciting. We are over the moon about how cute these little guys and girls are. We ended up with four yellow, two white, one chocolate, and two black. So very exciting. Oh, they're just so fluffy and cuddly, and we are loving this again, hugging all these little ones. So very fun, and mama and babies are all doing great. Bella didn't have any complications this time. Um, as you remember last time, she really struggled and had one blocking the canal. We had to take her in for a C-section. This time, she was able to do it all on her own and didn't need any help from the vet this time. So this was really, really, really good news. That's always the best when they can just deliver them on their own. Um, so yeah, very fun. And yeah, we get the fun times now of all the hold, holding, 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 and more holding. Um, so yeah, and the one thing I was gonna mention too is one thing we've always found, um, I say always found, this is our second batch of puppies that we've ever done. Um, but last time, Belle and Daisy both got extremely anemic after they gave birth, just from the sheer amount of, you know, just nutrition that they lost in having the babies and then nursing. It just took a huge toll on their bodies. So um, our vet recommended just any extra calcium we can get in their diet. So, you know, we've been supplementing now with wet dog food, which has a lot of extra nutrients and minerals and um, vitamins and things that they need in there. Um, also, anytime, you know, like calcium chews, things like that, um, Rob is going to do like uh, an egg, you know, he was gonna chop up some eggs into their food as well, raw egg. And, um, you know, adding a little extra um, boost of nutrition that way as well. So, um, but yeah, they just, um, that really helps a lot with just getting their bodies back to normal a little bit and maintaining their health too. So, um, yeah, but we are really excited. Daisy is about to give birth to any day now. She runs always a few days behind Bella. We don't know why, but... It happened last time and this time seems to be the same way. So we're so excited to have another litter coming. But yeah, nine puppies from Bella and they are just the cutest little things ever. I mean, how cute is that little sweet face? And they don't stay that little very long. That's the sad part is that they, they just grow up so fast. I mean, like exponentially. So very fun, um, but yeah, so that's our little bit of news, and I hope you're gonna enjoy this in the days ahead as we like can't stop shooting video of these sweet little things. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on around here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we now have Daisy's litter. She just gave birth to her litter yesterday afternoon into the evening, and she ended up with 10, 10 puppies. Yes, a variety of boys and girls. Um, she ended up, with, I believe, with five yellow and white, I think four black and one brown. So um, yes, she's got 10. She had 10 and Bella had nine. So we have a total of 19 puppies. That's a lot of puppies, yes. So this happens to be one of Bella's. Um, but yeah, they're just all so fun. And Daisy, she did her birthing like a champ. It wasn't any issues at all, just like Bella. So that's what's so great um, that we didn't need the vet this time in either of their um, birthing uh, situation. So yeah, it's just, it's really great. So we are so excited, but had to share an update of Daisy. And um, yeah, so very exciting. Stay tuned for all the videos of these sweet puppies and how they're gonna grow over the next weeks. And definitely go check out that DIY on the whelping boxes because if you breed puppies, they're a must just to give your dog a place to feel safe and comfortable for the nesting area. But if you don't breed puppies, there's still a great idea to um, give your dog a little space of their own, whether it's in your house or garage or anything like that. So definitely go check out the DIY.